Good morning. My name is Paul, and I work at this place, Artifact, where I am right now. It's very beautiful, as you can see outside, except cloudy. Anyway, uh, Artifact is a place where we design and envision new interactive experiences and products, and uh, I want to show you a little bit about what we do here. So let's go on a quick tour. So here we are, going down the stairs, into the cafe, and over to the kitchen. Nice big kitchen. Hi, Gabe. Mmm, Doritos. Alright, this is the studio. This is where all the magic happens. This is a nice view here outside. We're right in Pioneer Square. There's where the developers are. Here's the front desk. There's Aaron. Hi, Aaron. Bye. And there's the shuffleboard table. Whee! Okay, I totally cheated on that, but that was really good. And here's where the industrial design studio is. This is where we make stuff. And what else do we have? And we're back. So, my, one of my favorite things to do is prototype. And what is a prototype? You probably know what that is. Building something, testing something. Um, and what I try, my, my main goal when I prototype is to simulate the experience as fast as possible. Get to the user experience that uh, a consumer or somebody, a user of your product might um, experience when they're using it. And you do that so you can uh, share it, test it, iterate it, improve it. And you just keep doing that cycle uh, over and over until you, uh, you have a good product. And uh, that can look like a lot of different things. I'll show you some examples of, of a few of the different ways that you can get from an idea to prototype uh, as fast as possible. In this example, we're trying to reimagine how to interact with virtual objects. This paper prototyping technique seemed like the fastest way to capture the user experience. You'll notice that I'm just using my hands and cut out pieces of paper um, to represent the, uh, the virtual objects. Concept was that you could have these different lenses attached to your hands that would put the the interactive elements into a different state, like drawing state, for instance, like this one. So I can draw on the objects or do other things like remove red eye or delete them. So I gave that over to a developer and he went and implemented it for real based on that video and some more follow-on documents that I gave him. So here it is, working for real on that old Windows Surface table computer. And here's what it looks like when you want to draw on something. Bring up the lens, pick the lens you want, and you can draw. Now you might be wondering, how did I make that paper prototype video at the beginning. Well, let me show you in this next little segment. Alright, so let's pretend I'm designing a new image editor and I've made these crop marks on it previously in the video I'm making. So, I'll go up into iMovie, open it up, unlock it, um, add a new video, and I'll record myself doing the action that I want to perform cropping and then uh, I'll add that to my timeline and then I'll draw the next state and actually in this case I'm really going to crop it so through the magic of paper and scissors I will throw away what I don't want and then I'll record the exact same action that I did with my hands uh, and try to match what I did before so that I'll use, or I'll touch that imaginary crop button and then I'll edit out all the stuff in between. So get rid of that dissolve because we just want our nice quick cuts. We don't want it to fade in or out. And then I'll find where I touched here, make a cut, and then I'll go to my other video, find where I touched here, and then cut out everything before it. There we go. And then if I hit play, you'll see I press crop and it crops. Yay! And here's what I previously recorded. You can
can see. So I make these crop marks with my hands, and then the crop button appears, and I press crop, and it crops. Yay! So sometimes you have a design, but you don't have time to implement it. So you can do something called a Wizard of Oz prototype. So that's what this is an example of, where it might look like I'm actually you know, waving my hands in the air and talking to this thing that's really reacting, but in reality, it's just a linear prototype, linear uh, video, more or less, that I'm hitting play and pause with my foot off screen. And uh, it, so if I showed this to somebody, uh, it would look pretty convincing that it was real, but in fact, there's the, the man behind the curtain, who, uh, which is, in this case, my foot. Sometimes you have a real other person managing the prototype um, who, who makes it look like this thing is actually real. So those are a couple ways that you could prototype. Um, there's a million. Cardboard, um, just using paper, acting it out, um, just miming it with your hands, using uh, existing products. Sometimes there's um, products that are, or, or platforms that are out there that make it so easy to, to make an actual full website um, that you don't even have to prototype it. You can just make the website first. Um, but the rule is, whatever's the fastest to get the uh, user experience simulated uh, in the most realistic way possible, uh, go for it. Now it's your turn. Let's see what you guys can do.